What is good, beautiful people? I am your host, King Lion of Locks, and we're back with Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. So last time we left off, we had just finished the Naruto's mission behind the mask where we found out that Obito was Toby. <gasps> Big shocker. And then we just found out that uh, Sasuke had brought back uh, Orochimaru, and now Orochimaru is gonna take us to, we're gonna take us back home. Our next mission we're going to do is for those who know all, and then we're going to do two part missions. We're going to do the Boys Battlefield Part 1 and then Boys Battlefield Part 2. So without further ado, let's get active. <sighs> wow. Knew there was all this going on under the leaf shrine. Now, let's begin. <clears throat> Reaper Death Seal, release! This mask is necessary in order to use the jutsu written in that scroll. Using this calls out the Reaper, which then possesses the user. Then we can release the things that were sealed by the Reaper. I'll mention the Reaper seal in a second. Because I always had a question about that, which they I don't think they really answered, but maybe I could be wrong. Jugo, Sasuke, Suigetsu, get ready! Now, Jugo. Use your chakra to make the extraction from Sasuke. That should draw out the spores of the Zetsu that Toby set as Sasuke's watchdog. They'll serve as the sacrifices to summon the Four. Reanimation Jutsu! <laughs> Come now. Come. The ones who know everything. The former Hokage. Really, only three of them knew. The fourth one was more of a just... The, the first Hokage? He's just here so he don't get uh, canceled. Hashirama Senju, feared as the god of all ninja in the flesh. What's going on here? Yeah, he just here so he don't get fined. The Reaper Death Seal. They must have released it somehow. And then used reanimation. Looks like we've been brought back to life, first Hokage. Reanimation again? Everyone seems to have no trouble using the jutsu I invented. Why'd you invent it then? There's a reason for this. I simply prepared all this to grant his wishes. My name is Sasuke Uchiha. I have some questions for you, Hokage. What? Sasuke? First of all, third, why did you make my brother do what he did? I see. So you know. I still want to hear it from your mouth. Everything about Itachi. He killed his fellow clan members and stopped a coup. The man single-handedly prevented a war. He even installed himself in the Akatsuki as a spy after that, to keep the village safe. All under the condition that I protect you. His younger brother. You are okay. While I will say the third Hokage was not the best Hokage, he's far better than the second Hokage. He was so not a racist. Really true. But the third Hokage now, promised first, to protect a lot you, of people's dead. Uh, what is the village? He promised to protect a lot of people's what does it sons mean to be a ninja, but did not do that. He promised to protect Naruto's son. Um, Itachi, the fourth Hokage's son Naruto was prepared to protect and the hidden He did the bare minimum life. of that. Despite knowing he, he, he would protect village. Sasuke. And he was proud to be a shinobi of the leaf. 
did the bare minimum of that. To give up now I will say to protect a village. He did give up his life to protect and the village. And what about the ninja that creates such a situation? But leading up to that, I believe that it's he okay. could have done a little bit better of a job. I want to hear it from you. I want to hear the truth, so I can decide for myself. Should I take revenge on the village, or? Revenge on the village? Like I said, the racist. <clears throat> you think I'm just going to let you? Tobirama. Lower your hand. Fine. <laughs> well, excuse me. Well. You want to know about the village, you say? I'd be glad to tell you what you want to know, but it might take some time. No. Please just tell the boy what he wants to know as quickly as possible. What do you mean? We're in the middle of a war here. Madara Uchiha has come back to life and is trying to destroy every last ninja in the world. <gasps> Yes, I can sense a powerful chakra presence at two o'clock. The second Hokage is right. I'm picking up some intense chakra too. But it's not just that. No, I think... Ah, this feeling. Naruto, you're fighting too, aren't you? Another, if Madara is back, another, will have to wait. We can't afford Wait to sit see, around here and do nothing. I like to call it was the identity of the four Hokage. I'm sorry. Like when but if you want to head if to you the played, I think it was Ultimate Ninja Storm Two. Finish our conversation first. Um, the four Hokage. If you can't provide or Sasuke I think he was known the in the game as like the lightning. I wouldn't put it past him lightning to use you all to destroy He was a leaf. special character, which all we Damn knew was Orochimaru. he had yellow hair. He Don't flashed worry, around Orochimaru. and he had the Rasengan. We understand. Playing the game, he was Our like, clearly, that's Naruto's dad, but they never, they never you. said who it was. They so, made jokes about it all throughout the series, like Jirai was telling Naruto. Well, the only thing that's similar the village, to the poor Hokage is that stupid yellow hair. I must first explain about the two um, clans. But we didn't realize that Senju. that was his father until Naruto Shippuden came around. We fought and fought. Both of us were at the very end of our ropes. And we both knew the end had to be in sight for one of us. Okay, defeat Margaret, unable to use secret technique. Uh, okay. <laughs> Protect the village at all costs. I can't let you beat me. You gonna take this grab? Get over here! There we go. I know there's a, there's a, there's a cooler way to do that grab, but. Hey, I'm sorry for that. We ain't got time for cool ways at this moment. I just need to get that grab off. Magna is not, uh, Hashirama is not my character. I don't mean him. The village, not my ninja. It's over, Madara. 
Take this Elec man. Then finish me. Can't do it. That is your problem, Hashirama. You're soft. Yeah. I'll do anything to protect our... No, to protect my village, no matter what happens. I believe that protecting the village means protecting the people of the Hidden Leaf. The ninja, the children. I don't care who it is. My friend, my brother, or my own child. I won't forgive anyone who threatens it. You have your priorities mixed up. That will create darkness in the village. Someday. <clears throat> That's when I found my resolve. My resolve to protect the village to the bitter end. I don't know how he resurrected himself now, but I buried my friend for good that day. For the sake of the village. Which brings me to the village itself. What Madara and I envisioned at first was a place for clans to come together and connect. A way to bring order out of chaos, and keep it that way. It was a place where our children could be safe, where no pointless battles were fought, a place of peace. But the fact is, it created a darkness like the one that your brother Itachi bore. Perhaps Madara was right. Perhaps he saw all that coming. The bigger light you cast, the I'm bigger the, the darkness created that situation. I'm the only one who gave it the okay. That ain't you racist. see, to me, uh, a brother. ninja is someone who bears anything necessary to achieve his goal. However, a ninja is also shaped by what sort of goal he strives for. Just like Madara and I. <clears throat> a ninja is someone who bears whatever it takes to reach his goal. That's what I built the village on. But Madara had a different ideal. I don't know about Madara's current resurrection. I don't know what's behind this idea of his to wipe out the world's ninja, but... Infinite Tsukuyomi. Regardless of clan, creed, country, or anything. He wants to trap everyone in a genjutsu so he can make things happen exactly as he desires. Everything my brother and you fought so hard to protect. He wants to destroy it all. Then we can't afford to stay here a moment longer. Now that you've heard the first Tokage's explanation, what do you intend to do with it? Will you turn your blade toward the hidden leaf? Or... Sasuke, forgive me. I always lied to you. I asked you to forgive me. Even as I kept pushing you away, I didn't want to pull you in. But now I think of it this way. Maybe you could have changed father, mother, the Uchiha clan, if I'd faced you honestly from the very beginning. If we'd told each other the truth as equals. I failed. I won't put myself above you and tell you this and that. It's too late. So this time for once, let me tell you one small truth. 
It's all right if you never forgive me. But no matter what you become, I will always love you. I'm going into battle. The village. Itachi. I won't let it all be in vain. Well said. Come then, there's no time to lose. So, that's the path you've chosen. Now, show me what you're capable of. Sasuke Uchiha. Your new win. Um, so we just finished that mission. Stood in line three ninja, ninja moves. Um, and so we're gonna work on the next one, which is the boys battlefield part one and part two. I knew it. But I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to be wrong. Reveal. I was so upset to find this was it the case like I mean mainly because then, it, it felt like it was you, poor writing that you were a hero like that Obito was Toby like the names are very similar it was during the third some letters around great ninja letters war out. he had the same hair an age when men and, and the same shining on eye basically I was anyone like, who was known as come ninja on now. flew headlong into battle Still love Naruto as a series. The show is still the bonds, best, one of the best Naruto, uh, one of the best animes own. I've ever watched. This cycle of hatred spread like wildfire, endlessly. And in the center stood three fledgling youths. So we get to see they too Osuka Kakashi, embroiled Obi in this terrible war. The original Team Seven, not really Team Seven, the but the original Team Seven were. How Kakashi are you always Sasuke, so late? Obito was in Naruto, and ninja Ren have rules. Sakura. You need to stick to the plan. A good ninja sticks to the rules and does everything by the book. Rules, doing things by the book, that's all you ever talk about. Don't you have any compassion? Any ninja that breaks the rules sullies their name. You can at least understand that, right? Okay, okay, you two. Give it a rest. We're on the same team, remember? Reen, you're too soft on Obito. Today's a very important day for us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Huh? What's going on? <sighs> Let's talk about it on the way to our destination. As of today, Kakashi's become a Jonin, like me. We'll split into two units, led by Kakashi and myself, in order to give us the best chance of success. We're suffering from the biggest lack of manpower that the Hidden Leaf Village has ever seen. Remember. Actually, Obito, remember our talk about giving Kakashi a present? I already gave him a med kit, and Sensei's also... I gave him a custom-made kunai knife, just like the one I carry. What about you, Obito? Sorry, I, I forgot. What? Well, I wasn't expecting anything from forget. you anyway. It probably would have just been a piece of junk. Useless crap it like that, that would just be excess bad. Hey! Oh, come on, don't start little fighting! Hater. Now, let me run through the mission. <clears throat> You're all aware that the land of anyway. Earth has Baka. launched an invasion against the village hidden in the grass, right? Yes, they're coming yeah. very fast. It's only a matter of time before they cross into the land of fire. That's why we need to stop Phrasing. them as soon as possible. As such, our mission this time is to infiltrate enemy territory and destroy the Kanabi Bridge, which is part of their supply route. So we're going to cut off the enemy's support network. What about you, Sensei? I'm going to tackle them head on and act as a diversion for you. For today, Kakashi is your leader. We'll stick together until we hit the border, but after that, your unit's on its own. 
Got okay. him. Team go. They noticed me, did they? Impressive. Careful now, everyone. There's 20 of them, although there's a good chance they're using Shadow Clone Jutsu. I'm going in. Cover me. Not so fast, Kakashi. You should act as backup. What about what you said before, Sensei? I'm the leader today. That means I call the shots, doesn't it? That's the rule. Okay, everyone. Follow Kakashi's lead. Uh, okay. Now, I will say, another thing that I, 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 I don't like that they bastardized in the, the Varto series, which makes sense. I just don't like it. Um, throughout the show, unfortunately, um, Kakashi loses the use of his shining on eye. And now older Kakashi has this purple uh, Chidori or lightning blade. He calls it lightning blade. Uh, Sasuke calls it Chidori. Um, but it's not as powerful only because he doesn't have his shining on, so he can't keep up with the massive speed. I don't like it because it's purple, and two, it's a, a weaker version than his original form of it. Again, makes sense. He no longer can use the shining eye. I just don't like it. Okay, let's go. Just defeat one at a time. That's all there is to it. I don't like fighting kids. Even if we are at war, it doesn't feel right. The least I can do is make sure you don't suffer. What? These are no regular ninjas. Your Just you Log. Log. Chidori. Crazy part is that's like how actually Sasuke, how uh, not Sasuke, how Kakashi was actually killing them back in the in the show. Like he he was literally combing through these things like it was nothing. Okay. Like it's ridiculous how much of these like how much of them. Get out the way. Only problem is that young Kakashi could not control the, the Chidori at the time. So like he was going super fast, but was not able to see where the hell he was going. You tried it, nigga. Get him! They really do have a lot on their side. Yeah! Uh, no one better than the Stone Ninja. Try to fish. Take that, take that, take that, take that work. Oh, you lucky you got me right before I could kill you. He wasn't really able to keep up with the speed of the blue Chidori. No he called it back then, um, which really is why he needed to shining up. But when he got older, he developed a purple uh, lightning blade. He changes the name of it, which again never explains it. That's what you get for ignoring Sensei and doing whatever you like. That's some talk coming from a ninja who was too scared to be of any help. I, there's only three, there's only three people in the room. Like, I mean, in, just, in the you know, little like, fight thing, I had, I had Minato and, and Rin. 
That's all that ever comes out of your to mouth. Uh, Excuse me. better. Enough than already, you two. Throwing logs over a fire, fire style. You're going to have to work together from now on Just if you saying. want to complete your missions. Right now, you're pulling in opposite directions. Yes, Kakashi. Rules in the Ninja Code are important, but they aren't everything. It's like I taught you. Sometimes you've got to adapt to the situation you're in and bend the rules. And Obito, you still haven't truly prepared yourself to be a ninja. Your spirit is weak. That's why you feel scared when you actually face the enemy. I've got faith in you all, though. I know that you can complete this mission on your own. But if you cannot work together and function as a team, you're going to fail. Before I go, one more thing. The most important thing any ninja has to master is teamwork. Got it? With heartbeats racing, without a clear vision of what was really right and wrong, trapped in a battle with no exit, the boys just kept moving forward, running as fast as they could. Alright, so we just finished the boys battlefield part one. Dang, I didn't kill 80 of them. And so now we'll move on to the boys battlefield part two. And then once we finish that, we'll be done for this recording. Where's Garrett?